Hey, Robert. Hey. I was thinking for the next podcast episode, what about seed pie? <laughs> Sometimes the internet is a place to meet and blow off steam about life's little irritations. And sometimes it's a clearinghouse for the phobias that bedevil us. Phobias that include the sense that we're free falling into an infinite portal of doom. Beware the whole menace. Before widespread use of the internet, little was known about trypophobia or the fear of holes. But once people band together in their mutual hatred of the hole and formed a Facebook page, an internet domain, and scads of videos on the topic, psychologists took notice. As especially when sufferers describe symptoms like nausea, uh, their skin crawling, shuddering, and or feeling as though they were going to fall headfirst into these gaping maws. These disgust-filled responses to the menacing gashes in cheese or seed pods with their terrifying array of holes made researchers wonder if they could study the phenomenon in earnest and see if there was really something to it. In 2012, psychologists Jeff Cole and Arnold Wilkins of the University of Essex in England combed over anecdotal accounts of the most disturbing pits, cracks, dents and voids and selected the most potent image they could find, the dreaded lotus seed head with its cluster of holes. 286 adults ages 18 to 55 were shown the images. 11% of the men and 18% of the women described the seed head as, quote, uncomfortable or even repulsive to look at, which is about on par with the level of repulsion found in other actual phobias. Colin Wilkins theorized that there was a mathematical structure behind the pattern of holes driving trypophobics to distraction and that this arrangement was, in some cases, identical to the spectral patterns found in species of dangerous or poisonous animals. So sure, our ancestors would be hardwired to avoid poisonous plants and animals, but misattributing that anxiety to something as innocent as cheese is admittedly a long walk in logic. Another take, posited by William Skaggs writing for Scientific American, is that the phobia could be a misattribution of germ and disease-ridden sores on the human body. In other words, crusty seed pods would remind us of highly contagious weeping sores that we'd want to steer way clear of. But perhaps the most satisfying explanation is that social media may prime us to assume the phobia for ourselves. According to Jennifer Abbasi, writing for Popular Science, quote, an element of so-called emotional contagion seems to be at work on Facebook, where some group members say they didn't realize they were trypophobic until they started reading others' comments and clicking on the pictures. The condition is not yet recognized and listed in the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, and clearly more studies in peer-reviewed journals are needed. But in the meantime, keep the delight you feel when the bubbles in your pancake batter pop into gaping craters to yourself. Stash away your prized collection of seed pods and don't linger on potholes in the road too long. So what about you? Do you feel a tinge of existential dread when you glimpse a cluster of irregular holes? And for another flavor of holes, check out this video on putting one in your head. And to keep the videos a-coming, make sure to subscribe.